everyone um today's video is going to be on this look what look you might ask it's a look that just shows you how I get ready when I wake up okay here's the thing I wake up every morning probably like an hour before my boyfriend and when he wakes up he like gets dressed real quick and he's like all right let's go and I'm like oh my god I've been up for an hour but you didn't give me time to get ready so most of the time he gives me time and I take my time getting ready but he's in a hurry or if I'm in a hurry and we both have other stuff to do but we want to go grab something to eat or get coffee real quick I'll just throw this look on what look again you might ask and we're gonna jump right into that and I'll let you know and if you I do have clothes on I have a dress on I just you can't see it so and then I also have a video coming up on how I do my hair I did this in the car so it might not look pretty today I already went out and that's why my hair is already done but it's like a quick bun I do have like a donut in there just to make it look more full but I like this look it looks put, put together in my opinion and it's just really easy to do so look for that video coming soon so if you want to see my I guess this would be like no makeup makeup but if you want to see how I get this look just keep watching so the first thing I use is my benefit boing concealer and eye bright it's like a duo I got it from Ulta and it was like 12 bucks for both um, I take the concealer and it's very creamy I just put it on my finger and I rub that right under my eyes I try to be as gentle as I can because you really shouldn't like pull on your skin under your eye like this but just to cover any redness or dark circles I might have going on and then I also put a little bit right below my brow and on the entire lid and this also covers up redness in any veins that might be popping through and you do the same thing to the other eye sorry if you can hear the laundry going but it's Sunday and I'm doing laundry And then after I have the concealer applied, I can also look and see if I have redness anywhere else, which I kind of have a cold right now, so I do have redness like above my lip, which is just like, I, I really don't care, but it, you guys might be like, oh, you're sick. So I'm going to put a little bit right up here just to cover any redness, although it'll probably pop right back through. I'm almost done being sick, but it's like really dry and red up there. Okay, I don't really have any other spots that I'm uncomfortable with. I mean, of course I have a little bit of scarring or like redness on my face, but it just doesn't bother me that much. So the next thing I do is take the eye bright, which is like the pink stuff. Well, it's like white, pink, creamy. I'll just Let's see. Yeah, it's just like, uh, it's really just white, but it blends in really good. And I just put a little bit of that right on top of the concealer under my eye. Honestly, it doesn't even do much, but I don't know. I think it's like a mental thing, like I'm brightening my under eyes, but I don't, know. I don't really know if I am. Okay. That's seriously it. I'm not even, like when I'm in a hurry, I'm not even gonna set that. I'm just going to apply it. Now because there's like literally the most minimal steps possible in this look, it doesn't matter what you do next, you can do your mascara or your brows. I use the Benefit Give Me Brow, it's just like a tinted brow gel, and I just literally, let's see, I just run this through my brows. I comb them up, which makes me think that the product is getting attached to the brow hairs, and then I pull them and comb them out, like so and then we're gonna do that to the other eye we're done with our brows sometimes I don't even do my brows and then mascara that's literally and then I'll put a lip gloss on but there's two different options when I'm like running out the door I'll either use the covergirl full lash bloom mascara and this is waterproof so if I'm going somewhere where I'm gonna be out all day or sweating I will use the waterproof and 
it's very thin. It just applies a really thin coat. It doesn't even make my, personally, I mean, everyone's different, but for me, it doesn't make my lashes, like, thick or full, bold. Like, it just adds tint of black to my eyelashes and makes me look, like, alive. So, um, but for the most part, I usually use something a little bit more bold, like Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. I really like using this. So, when I'm in a hurry, I just curl my lashes very quickly. I kind of pulse. Um, my lashes when they're in there and I I'm not a perfectionist when I have Kenny breathing down my back to come on come on come on we're going we're going so I have to hurry so I just throw on a coat like sometimes I even do this in the car so it really doesn't look pretty but and of course I do put some on my lower lashes although I just can't talk when I do it as you can see I'm getting it all over so so I do concealer brightener mascara brows and lips when I'm like not doing anything I like to throw on a gloss rather than a lipstick because it doesn't really matter if you want to put on a lipstick that's totally fine I like using the NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss, and this is in, oh no, I ripped the color off. I don't know what color it is. I'll have to fi figure it out, but I love it. It's really pretty. I like the smell of these. They smell like cough syrup to me. I, uh, ha, ha, ha. Sorry, I told you I'd be looking at the viewfinder, but, and that's the finished look. So... Thank you for watching. I hope this helps when you're in a hurry and you just have to throw something on so you just look a tiny bit improved from your waking up self. But um, I hope this helped and thank you for watching. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.